in this video we are going to take up two more questions on sound IGCSE pass paper question number seven and question number eight so if you are liking the videos if you find them helpful and informative if they are helping you to learn please do subscribe to the channel so let's start with question number seven you may pause the video and then come back and start it to look at the answers so let us start by understanding the question the figure here shows a loudspeaker cone oscillating to produce sound wave so here the first thing the thing that you see it's a circular diaphragm thing it oscillates oscillates backward and forward the cone oscillates to produce the sound wave it is a flexible thing if you would have seen a loudspeaker yourself it is a flexible slightly movable thing it oscillates oscillates backward and forward now the part a as the sound wave passes a point it reaches a region of high and low pressure state the names of these regions again this is a repeating question so you have a region of high pressure low pressure created in between when the sound waves are are traveling high pressure means compressions and low pressure means you are getting a rare fractions let us tally the answer with the mark scheme as well rare fractions and compressions so i hope that you will have got a practice by going through the previous questions question number one to six that this is a very common question B part describe how the movement of the loudspeaker cone produces these regions of different pressure high pressure so what kind of a movement of the cone will produce a high pressure now this is done in a video number one of sound where we understood that sound waves are longitudinal wave so all the theory videos that we have done on this chapter somewhere or the other every topic is relevant question can come on just any topic so video one on sound which talks about sound being a longitudinal wave i have explained all these all these things that you are being asked in this question high pressure when the cone moves out low pressure when the cone moves backwards right let us tally the answer with the mark scheme cone moves forward it produces a high pressure cone pushes air closer together cone moving backward causes empty space and it creates rare fraction let me explain when this cone this flexible cone it will move outward like this it will create when it moves outward that should be your answer it creates compression high pressure when the cone moves inwards like this this is in out it won't move so much as it oscillates only slightly but my arrows are big so that you can see as it moves out compression as it moves back it is a rare fraction backward lower pressure when it moves backward why it produces rare fraction when it moves backward it is explained in the theory video because there is more space created so the air molecule get more space they expand it creates a less density region whereas when the cone moves outward it pushes the air molecule together so it creates a high density region which is called compression now c part state the effect of the loudness and the pitch of the sound from the loudspeaker when the amplitude increases but the frequency stays the same again and again these kind of questions are coming amplitude increases means loudness is more or it increases pitch stays the same right similarly second part amplitude stays the same but the frequency increases amplitude stays the same means loudness stays the same and the frequency is increasing so the frequency will be more these things are also done in the theory video on the properties of sound the amplitude depends only on the loudness if the loudness or the amplitude is changing they 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 affect each other 
when the frequency increases the pitch increase increases the loudness has nothing to do with the frequency only the pitch relates with the frequency amplitude relates with the loudness all right so this is done question number seven i'll show you the mark scheme make a note of it you can pause the screen here understand the mark scheme and then move on to question number eight a disused railway line has a length of 300 meters so you have a railway line which is 300 meters a man puts his ear against one end of the rail and another man hits the other end with a metal hammer so one person is hitting in one end and the other person is putting his ear on the other end and the distance between them is 300 meters state an approximate value of the speed of the sound in air now this is also something which i explained again and again even during the theory that you need to remember this number you can give your answer as 300 to 350 meters per second any number can be your correct answer your answer can be 300 310 305 320 30 330 all these numbers are correct also all right when you look at the mark scheme as well they also give a range approximately 330 all right sound travels at speed of 5000 meters per second in speed Calculate the time it takes for the sound to travel along the rail. It is easy. You are given the speed. You are given the distance. You can calculate the time. Use the speed formula. Speed is equal to distance over time. Here you have to find time. So time is distance over speed. So distance is how much? Distance is 300. And speed is... Speed is 5000. When you'll divide these two numbers, you'll get the value of time. You need to use your calculator. Let us see. They're also doing the same thing. Your ultimate answer would be 0 0.06 meters. 0 0.06, I'm sorry, not meters, but seconds. It is the time that we are talking about. 0 0.06 seconds. All right. A man with his ear to the railway line actually hears two sounds from the hammer separated by short interval. Explain why he hears two sounds. So what they are saying here in part B is that this man who is putting his ears on the railway line, he is hearing two sounds of the hammer. Why is he hearing two sounds? Think about it. It's not so difficult. The sound is coming and reaching to this man through two mediums that's what you need to think about one of the medium that the sound is reaching this man is through the solid like this and another medium through which the sound is traveling is through the air sound is traveling through the through the air through the air and through this solid metal rail as well so it is traveling through two separate mediums at the same time and where does the sound travel the faster the sound travels the faster in the metals if you do not know the theory about it please go through the theory on the properties of sound there we have spoken about that the speed of the sound is the maximum in the solids metal is a solid so the sound will quickly reach this person through the metal and it will take some time to reach this person through the air so the same sound is heard twice first one will be held through will be heard through the metal that will be quicker and the second sound will be through the air as the speed of the sound in the air is slower so explain why he hears he hears two sound i have given you the explanation please do remember this two sound has nothing to do with the echo do not mention about echo there is no reflection happening here the thing phenomena which is happening here is that the sound is traveling in two mediums one is faster one is slow that's why he hears to sound if you want you can look at the mark scheme as well and tally all your answers 
So if you look at the Mach scheme, they are also saying the same thing. They are saying that the speed in air and the steel are different, right? Sound through air and sound through steel. If you are talking about these things separately, it will be accepted as a correct answer. Do not mention anything about eco because they are not talking. No echo phenomena is happening here in this particular case. So this was all about IGCSE past paper questions on sound. If you need more paper, get in touch with me. I'll post more, more questions on sound.